Hello folks, Matthew Peterson here, and what I want to let you know is that we now have released a new on-demand learning course on our on-demand learning platform, and this course is completely free. And what this course covers is how to create a model-driven application. Whether you've made them in the past or you're just brand new to making model-driven apps and you want to build one from beginning to end, this is the course for you. Uh, so the scenario that we're going to be doing is building an application that allows us to store a certain amount of projects that we want work to be done over. And so we might have a kitchen remodel, a roof repair, some landscape design, and then we're going to get proposals from contractors for those individual projects. And we're going to get things like, hey, how much is this going to cost us? When can you come out and start to work? What are the services that we're going to get with this proposal? So we can have a lot of different proposals for these different projects. And then we're going to learn how can we approve these proposals or put them in pending status or rejected status. And all of this is going to be done using a model-driven application, which means, if you didn't know, in order to make a model-driven application, you have to utilize what's called Microsoft Dataverse. So as part of this course, you're also going to learn about what Dataverse is, which is technically an Azure SQL Server database hosted by Microsoft. We're going to learn about the security controls that come with it, how easy it is to set up your own custom tables, your custom columns choose your data types. We're going to talk about conditional logic to put business rules in place for uh, based on when a record is created, do this uh, based on this value. If not, do something different. So we're going to cover all of this. We're going to build it from beginning to end. And if you're just someone that says, hey, Matt, I just want to watch you do it, learn from you, and then just take your completed, uh, your completed project when you're done, well, you'll also be able to do this in the course. So after everything I've created, you will simply be able to download it and upload it into your own environments. So if you're new to Power Apps or you've been doing it for a while, but maybe you've never worked really with uh, model-driven applications, this is the course for you to get you started. So I hope to see you there.